against hope that I would not have to have this particular press conference um, in which I am going to cancel some regular season games. We worked hard to avoid an outcome that's bad for our fans, bad for our players, and bad for our clubs. I want our Robert Manfred? Yeah, that guy, that guy's not good for baseball. He's not doing a good job as a commissioner. Ever since he stepped in there, his uh, cognitive skills have been tested and they're not up to par. Yeah, he's not competent. Nah. If Bud Sealing was still around, none, none of this would have happened. But nah, nah. Robert, Robert Manfred's not it. We need, we need change. We need change. Oh, we're live? Yo, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'm sorry. I didn't know we were live. Good evening. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Barrel Up Podcast. This is your host, John Carlos. And today we are talking about the lockout, the lockout that has surpassed COVID, I would say, right? But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Barrel Up Podcast. Follow us on Instagram, Barrel Up underscore baseball. Like this video, comment down below. Follow us on Spotify as Barrel Up Podcast. Follow us on Anchor as Barrel Up Podcast as well to hear this episode via uh, audio and all the good stuff. I have been a little bit MIA for the last week and a half. Your boy, John Carlos, was taking a vacation, but with you guys in mind every day, saying, I, you know, I can't wait to get back. I can't wait to start airing. Even though there's a lot of negativity going on within the game of baseball right now, Robert Manfred, I'm not going to just blame him, but... You know, you got to do better. You got to do better. The lockout is still uh, a thing. The CBA was not signed between the uh, MLB owners and the Players Association. But we're just ready. When I say we, I, I feel that I'm a, I'm a player. I'm a fan. I'm an, uh, I do my analysis, right? All we want is for baseball to come back. The fans are eager to see spring training games, spring training going on. But as of yesterday, that is far from over, meaning that on March 1st, well, February 28th, leading into, leading into March 1st, there was a deadline and it stated that if the CBA was not reached, meaning a new bargaining agreement, that there would be no baseball. That was changed, right? Now, the first week of baseball is canceled. We were supposed to start March 31st. As we speak, pitchers and catchers and the first few games of uh, spring training were supposed to be undergoing, and that's not happening. What the hell is going on? Robert Manfred, we need you to – let me, let me, let me, let me censor myself. Robert Manfred needs to uh, pick up the pace and get this deal going. The players are ready to negotiate. Tony Clark was open and ready to negotiate yesterday. Uh, a, a, a deal was not signed. You know, there's a lot of contracts in the air, like Carlos Correa, um, a lot of teams that weren't able to make moves. There's a lot of negativity going on. Derek Jeter stepping down from uh, the position as a CEO for the Marlins. He did a great job with the Marlins. We, <laughs> I think he should be the new commissioner. Hint, hint. Now, nah, in all seriousness, um, there's a lot of talks about what's been going on. But we have my man Juan Soto. He started his spring training hitting bombs in a BP light uh, light session, right? Off the pitchers. And we have my man Mike Trout with the following statement. I'm going to read it to you. Mike Trout says this. I want to play. I love our game, but I know we need to get the CBA right. Instead of a bargaining agreement in good faith, MLB locked us out. Instead of negotiating a fair deal, Rob canceled the games. Players stand together for our game, for our fans, and for every player who comes after us. We owe it to the next generation. That's a fact, man. That's a fact. We have it bad as it is. COVID is still around. There's a lot of mask mandates. Uh, life is not the same. But the uh, only sense of normalcy for us baseball players is for baseball to come back. And now there's no baseball, right? Us baseball fans, us baseball analysts, we were watching the Caribbean series. We were watching uh, Winter League baseball leading to this, to the most important baseball in the world, Major League Baseball, right? 
Juan Soto is ready. Player across players across the board haven't stopped working. We're all ready to go back to the field. And it's just the owners and Robert Manfred. Again, I'm going to say that name. Robert Manfred. Who is a Ro- who is what is a Robert Manfred? I'm sorry, but I have to clown him. Like I clowned him uh, almost two years ago when he, he gave the Astros a slap on the wrist with the cheating scandal. Ever since then, Robert Manfred has not been doing uh, a, good, a good job as the commissioner. When you have players like Mike Trout calling you out by your name for something not positive, all he is is positive to the game of baseball, you're doing something wrong. It's about time that we take back the handling of our game It's about time that the owners realize that without any players, there's no baseball. Yes, the owners have the money to pay who? The players. The players who give what? Joy to the fans. Knock it out. Knock it off. Let's go. It's about time that we get our life back, that baseball is played. It's not going to be March 31st anymore, but at least a week after that, the the latest. Come on. Get it together. We need baseball. America's pastime. This is John Carlos from Barrel Love Podcast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick and short, we are back. Let's go, baby. Barrel Up Baseball. Barrel Up Podcast. I'm coming hard. I'm coming heavy. Robert Manfred, ¿hasta cuándo, mijo?